Hey guys, I'm Chaz Martin with Joe Bucher Outdoors, and today I want to talk to you about my favorite lure, the Glide Raider. Uh, the reason I like this bait so much is because of its versatility. I can do so many different things with this, and that's what I want to show you today, is how I work this bait. Now, setup. Uh, traditional bait casting gear, anything um, from 5.1, uh, which I like as far as the uh, gear ratio. Some guys like a little faster gear ratio, 7.1, whatever you like, that's fine. But the rod is important. You want something around seven foot six and an extra heavy power. Uh, this will enable you to give the bait nice jerks and pops and twitches and not have a lot of flex in the tip or in the uh, midsection of the rod. Um, line 80 pound test, uh, I'm using Joe Booker's uh, Beast Braid and uh, a steel leader. And what I do is I remove the snap. You can see I've just got a uh, steel leader, split ring, and then the lure, okay? Um, also, you can, depending on how deep you want this bait to run, you can, you can vary the hook size. I have eight aught size hooks here. You can use sevens, sixes, um, whatever you want as far, and, and that'll all affect uh, the running depth of this bait. Now, when I'm working a glide raider, what I like to do is cast a little bit ahead of the boat. The reason for this is because it allows me, as I move the boat forward, to, to generate some slack in the line uh, between the lure and myself, and that'll allow me to really whip it and twitch it, okay? So that's, that's one key to working this bait and doing it effectively. And the second thing that I like to tell folks when I'm guiding um, and they're starting to learn how to work jerk baits is, you know, how do you, how do you retrieve, uh, you know, how do you retrieve the lure? How do you, how do you reel it in um, and work the bait? Well, my general rule of thumb is this. First of all, you wanna be able to palm the reel. Uh, the reason for that is so that you can generate those nice twitches and jerks. It's a lot more, uh, it's easier to do that by palming the reel. And, and secondly, when you're retrieving it, you want a general rule of thumb is to do one full rotation of the handle per glide of the lure. And that's what I'm thinking about as I'm working the bait. You know, it's one rotation and then one glide, two rotation, you know, two cranks and another glide to the side. So I'm going to show you just how I do that here. When I start working the lure, I like to give it some down pulls. And again, that's just to get the bait started and get it down under the surface. So you can see here, I'm, I'm uh, pumping the rod pretty aggressively and it's one rotation of the handle per glide of the lure. You can speed it up, you can slow it down, depending on uh, you know what type of cover you're fishing over. And when I get the lure to the boat, I like to pause it and I call this dead sticking it. Um, and I, I don't figure eight the glide rider. I just leave it right here. So I'm gonna show you that again. Now, another way that I like to work this bait, let's say I'm, I'm fishing over some, uh, some tall cabbage, don't have a lot of uh, space between the, uh, the surface and the, uh, the vegetation. I'm gonna use more of a horizontal motion or more parallel to the surface of the, uh, the lake with my rod, and I'm really gonna um, generate a lot higher gliding of this of this bait when I'm when I'm working the rod like this as opposed to pushing the bait down okay so again when I when I want this bait to work higher I'm gonna I'm gonna run my rod or the, the uh, twitching action um, a lot more level to the surface all right guys now there's a couple tricks you can do to really trigger strikes while you're working any glide bait in particular the glide raider here which I'm holding this is a Tennessee shad color one of my all-time favorites one thing that I like to do to trigger strikes is the pause. It's one of my favorite strategies. And again, where am I pausing this lure and what does that mean? Well, okay, here I am. I'm starting the lure off right over some weeds here and I'm going to pause it there. I'm going to let it glide out and just suspend because that's the, the beauty of a neutral buoyancy lure is that you can pause it and it'll just suspend in place. And a lot of times that's when the muskies are going to come and grab it. Then what I'll do is I'll speed it up. I'll work it real fast and then again, I'll pause it. So you're changing the speed, you're changing the cadence of this lure and that's what triggers fish to strike. And a lot of times when, when muskies are following a bucktail, well, you know, it's coming in on a straight track. The beauty of a, of a twitch bait or a jerk bait like this, the glide raider, is that you can pause it, suspend it, and, and it throws fish off. And, they, and a lot of times they'll react aggressively and just eat it. The second thing that I do to trigger strikes, I'm gonna show you this right by the side of the boat, is what I call dead sticking. So as I'm working this bait in, instead of figure eighting it, I just, pause it here right at the side of the boat. Just totally stop it. Even if I don't see a fish coming, a lot of times they're following deep and they will come up and literally grab it while the bait is motionless. Just sitting here wobbling as it kind of slowly sinks down with the weight of the leader. And you can see here how I'm just twitching this back and forth, just doing, actually gliding the lure in place with about three to four feet of line out. 
Um, and I catch a lot of fish doing this as opposed to a traditional figure eight. So again, guys, thanks for watching. I hope this video has helped you with some of your questions uh, with jerk baits, the glide rate, or anything like that in general. Um, and if you want, I, I'll put another video together based on your comments if you'd like to ask some more specific questions about uh, things you guys are looking for. So thanks again for watching, and uh, good luck out there this fall.